Hey guys, Chad here. In this tutorial, I give you an overview of how to use behaviors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I already have an animation placed on my stage, as well as a sound file in the timeline. This is so I can show you the different behaviors that are involved here. Now, for the behaviors panel, that's located right here for me. However, if you don't have that, simply go to Window, Behaviors, and that will bring up the panel. Or you can hold and shift and hit F3 if you so choose. Now, behaviors basically allow you to input basic action script into your movie without any of the hassle of programming it in through the um, action script window. So, if you want to do some simple procedures like stopping sounds on the timeline or stopping your movie or bringing up a web page, that's what the behaviors panel can do for you. So, let's go ahead and see this in action. I have a behaviors layer already created. So, let's go ahead on that layer and go to frame 75 and right click on that and insert a keyframe. Now, if we come over here to the behaviors panel, we can click on the little plus sign right here and we'll come up with some options. Let's go ahead first and stop all the sounds. So let's come down here to the sound category and simply come down here and select stop all sounds. And of course it'll confirm if we want to do this. You just click OK. And now you'll notice on frame 75 there's a little A icon on your keyframe. This indicates that there is action script there. So let's go ahead and see this in action. I'm going to go to Control, Test Movie, and see if the sounds stop once I start to play the movie. And as you can see, the sound stopped. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out some more behaviors. First, I should point out, if we come back here and click on our keyframe, you can go ahead and remove this behavior at any time by simply clicking on it in the behaviors panel and hitting the minus sign right there. Or you can simply right click on your timeline on that keyframe and go to clear keyframe. However, we can also add more than one behavior to a keyframe at once. So let's say for instance, if we want to stop all sounds and we want to open up a web page um, while that's all going on, you can simply go to this option right here, click the add button, choose the behavior you want, and let's say we want to do the web page one, I'll just type in my web address really quick, and then you can choose to have it open in the, in the, in the same browser that your flash animation might be playing on, or maybe you wanted to open in a new browser window for the user, you can decide that stuff, you click OK, and now you have that set of action, those two sets of actions for that one keyframe. So you can go through here and check out the different behaviors. There's a, um, there's a few different ones here. You can like, for instance, control an embedded video. Let's say you import a video file. You can go ahead to choose to stop or play or pause that. You can work with different media and movie clips here and have, you have some more sound options here, like you can play a sound or you can load a sound from the library and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're looking for more advanced action scripting, you're going to want to use the action script panel for that. However, if you're looking just for some simple little um, actions to input into your movie, then the behaviors panel might suit you just fine. So go ahead and check that out. Anyway, I think that does it for me. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.